Hi, this is Bill from Billy Rocket Fireworks in Gillespie, Illinois. I want to talk to you guys real quick about the world of wireless firing. This is one uh, starter system we offer, and I thought it would be great to do a quick video on the programming of the system um, versus explaining to each and every one of you when you come in our store. Um, this system right out of the box is ready to go. The transmitter takes a 9-volt battery, and the... 4Q four, four receiver takes 4AA. I suggest use good quality batteries for this. You know, you get one chance to do it right, so let's not skimp on batteries. Right out of the box, you simply turn it on, turn your module on, and these are pre-programmed, ready to go. Each push of the button corresponds to the Q on your module with the one on the receiver, okay? I wanna show you the programming part real fast. This is really important. This button, there's there's a couple ways to program. There's four on the back, which gives you power to change the, the Q number individually. And there's also a shortcut one on the top. And what that does is by depressing, using this one to program, it's when, when you program it, whatever button or number you hit, it's gonna be that number and the next three in succession. So let's just say you wanna change this to nine through 12. You depress the button on top, you see the flash, now you hit the number nine on your transmitter and let go of the, the module and then let go of the transmitter. So now it's been paired up. You saw that flash. That means they're, they're, they're talking to each other. They're making a connection. So now this should be nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, it's a matter. And let's get it back to one through four. Again, you push the top, it starts to flash, hit the number you want on the transmitter, release and release. The flash lets them know they've been paired up, and now we're back to one, two, three, and four. A quick feature on this one is it's got a fire all feature. There's a small fail safe built into this. That means you gotta hold this down for just a split second longer for it to fire everything. Now keep in mind, when you use this feature, everything that's, that's paired up to this transmitter is gonna go off. So when we hold this down, everything's gonna light up at once. There's also a sequencer feature, which means it's gonna fire everything in succession from one through 12 with a small delay in between each, each cue. Again, it's gonna, you gotta hold it down for a split second longer. And here we go, one, two, three, four, okay? If you wanna add another module, they're sold separately, but that can easily be done and be easily programmed, okay? The modules you're gonna get will not have that fancy label on top. And this is a little paper I've been using just to number my cues for the purpose of demonstrations. But anyway, let's say you want to program this one also one through four. Remember what I told you, right? Push the top, push the number one, let go, let go. And now you got two modules that are programmed one through four. So you should see these light up together, two, and then et cetera, three, and then four. When will I need this? Well, let's say you want to lay off two two 500 gram cakes or two 200 gram cakes or two similar items at the same time from 50 feet apart. You can do that by the method I just showed you how to program. I will show you another, the, the other programming method in the back and that's individual programming. And there's a couple ways to do it. This is the way I like to do it. I use a cutoff Q-tip and I'm depressing the back button. I use the weight of the transmitter, okay? So again, you depress with the weight, it's flashing. Whatever number you want to assign it to, you just hit that number. Boom, let go. And you saw the flash. That means now this one is programmed to Q10. Okay? You want to program this one to Q10 also? Do the same thing. Put it in the back. It's flashing. Hit 10. Let go, let go. And now these two should be on Q10. All right? So that's the simplest way to, uh, or the best I could do to explain to you how to program with this system here. I will tell you this, there is two methods of ignition that I will bring up real fast. There's the consumer igniter, and then there's the E-match. Both of these are one-time use only, and they simply plug into these terminals. They're, uh, you don't have to worry about polarity. It doesn't matter which way you put the wire in, okay? And once you do that, that will uh, cause uh, the, the fire to ignite the fuse that will light your fireworks. So in conjunction with this, you will need to choose either the Talon or the, uh, which is the consumer or the E-Match. Anyway, we're gonna do a link to another video coming up on the, the bigger panel, and we'll talk further about that in our next video. But thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.